What's going on ladies and gentlemen? In today's video, we have the longest live sales call I have ever taken in my entire life. It was around technically two and a half hours. We actually spoke for about an hour and a half, but sometimes that's what it takes. It went very, very well. And we are probably going to close her, I'd say about an 85% chance. And we possibly might even get her friend that she mentioned who is also interested in a service like this. So I'm not gonna make this intro too long and make the video even longer than it has to be, but do me a huge favor. If you like these videos, please comment down below and I'll post a sales call every single week. And uh, yeah, comment any tips that you have down below for me. I'm still learning and trying to get better every single day. So if you think I did something wrong, comment down below. And another quick announcement, if you'll see, there's a link in the description for Carter's Agency College. I'm hosting free weekly hour live Q and A calls. So you can actually click that link down below, register and sign up for one of those calls. I'll help you with whatever it is you want. Go high level walkthroughs, our ad creatives, our copies, whatever questions you may have to just assist you in starting your own agency, I will help you with. So join that, it's free. You can see what it's all about with that link and you can sign up for that. Without further ado, let's get into this sales call. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. How's it okay. going? Perfect. I didn't say, um, what do you call it? I didn't say got it. <laughs> yeah, no worries. No worries. How are you? Oh, you know, if you Another really day. want the truth, it'll take longer than the meeting. So, so yeah. you won't go there. for sure, for sure. Well, I appreciate you taking some time out of your day to uh, jump in this call with me. I know you guys are extremely busy and your schedules tend to be pretty sporadic. So I appreciate you blocking out some time to, to jump in the call. No worries. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, basically throughout the call, I'm just going to be going over our service, what it is we're doing for the current teams and agents we're working with across Canada, who we yep. are and whatnot. And uh, I did some due diligence before this call, but at the start, just a couple simple questions for you just to uh, get to know you a little bit better and see where you're currently at in your real estate career. So if you have any questions for me throughout, basically I'm going to be rambling on trying to keep your attention as best I can. So feel free to just interrupt me at any point in time and ask away. <laughs> And we'll, we'll be what, 30 minutes? Yeah, yeah, probably 30 minutes. Okay. Awesome. I've, so, I've uh, 30 minutes, just so you know. For sure, awesome. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so like I said, I did some due diligence, but if you can kind of just give me a brief rundown of how you got into real estate, when you got into real estate, uh, the current bro <laughs> your team you're with, and uh, yeah, it's kind of a brief rundown. Um, I got into real estate because of, uh, of a transaction where it was supposed to be a lateral move. Mm -hmm. And that transaction cost my family $400,000. Okay, wow. I was flipping homes before that successfully. And this home that we're in right now was the one that caught us. And we carried two properties for nine months, and then invested in rentals. And then because we didn't move in right away, they re, um, reappraised us and basically the hundred K we'd spent on rentals um, was zero. Oh, wow. As far as value. So I've been a realtor. Uh, July will be 15 years. Okay. Um, when I started, I had a team, but they weren't entrepreneurial. So after a bit of time, um, I just let them all exit. There, there really is only one person that's still left in the industry, but she's with a competitor. And I call on her on times when I am um, out of the country because yes. she's a good man. So um, I don't, I don't have a team okay. because it's difficult to get people to be to the caliber that I sort that of you're expect. at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Makes sense. And what's the current strategy right now, as far as I guess, marketing and acquiring new clientele goes, is there any, <laughs> so um, I've, I've worked with lead gen companies before Okay. and I will have to say that my biggest success is repeat and referral. Okay. Makes sense. And, um, I don't know what I did in, I actually don't know what I did in 2022, but it was more than 2021. Uh, last year I did 39 ends. Okay. Awesome. And do you do any organic posting, 
uh online or is everything just strictly like work in your sphere like how do you work your sphere as far as um so i have a company that i work with um called um uh cns they're a client nurture system okay yeah they have do you know who they are yeah they do uh like follow-ups and essentially all the automations for your sphere and whatnot i joined them last year so that was a 10k investment and I would say we're about 98% complete on every task that we needed to accomplish. It took, I'm going to say, almost a year to get it all up and running. Okay. So okay, it was time sense. consuming. Um, I have a gal that does my social media. Um, so it's kind of like this. So have you heard of a company called Back at You Media? No. Okay. So they're out of the US and I switched to them as my web provider and they give us um because we joined them so long ago they post for me on facebook instagram linkedin and twitter every second day okay um it's probably a little bit organic um and they charge me for that and don't laugh because it's real (laughs) 20 dollars a month okay um then i have uh an assistant who's separate to helping me with um the you know the administrative side um just gotta shut this off here yeah no worries separate to the administrative side she's um doing posting for me as well on those platforms some of them are through a third party uh and some are that she makes um and i pay her a fee and then i have a company out of ontario um, I don't find it as effective. It's just more to have it there. Does um, like an uh, like an article for me once a month. Okay. Um, and they're pretty reasonable in price. I'm trying to think what I pay them. I don't know, forty bucks a month to okay. to do it. But that one's done through an email. I find already that the transition to communicate through text messaging is way more effective than um, emails. Um, and then the only other aspect missing is, um, you know, obviously there's a lot of follow-up and there's a lot of templates that I've made for people for the next 10 years. Yeah. Um, so, and I'm going to just try to work my database okay. through the follow-up. So I've got one more thing to do to sort of finalize what that looks like, but that's basically it in a nutshell. Okay. Awesome. And then a uh, final question as far as scaling goes and just to gauge a better understanding of you goals, of your goals, what you're looking to do. Why did you uh, agree to get on this call? I guess in the first place, this has been something you've been actively looking for, or just never um, essentially turning um, down an it's opportunity. It's probably more of a, sorry to interrupt you. Sorry. It's probably yeah, no more of a curiosity. I had a company call me just, well, actually I've had many companies reach out to me. Yeah, for the sure. ones out of the U S I'm not interested in doing. So I'm trying to block their number every time mm-hmm. they call. Cause I know they have different numbers. Um, I prefer to deal with a Canadian company and I have, I mm-hmm. tried a company out of uh, Toronto called agent locator. Yeah. I call another company. I try to work with was called first contact. If I'm not mistaken, um, I know that lead gen is a very slow, painful return on your investment. Um, but I'm always curious. So the company that I had agreed to do a meeting with, um, canceled on me. So they either canceled on me because they couldn't meet my expectations because they haven't followed up with me since, because I'm open to how technology is changing and evolving. Mm-hmm. But I really want to have an understanding of what it is that you offer from a service. For I sure. try not to say no to people who are patient and persistent with me because I know with CNS, the client nurture system, I probably put him off four times before I spoke with him. For sure. And then when I heard what he had to say, I knew that it was a fit because that was a weakness within my business model. Mm-hmm. And I know that I'm within five years of retiring completely. So I now have a secondary phone number. Um, where I'm trying to move everybody to that secondary phone number because it's an app. And when I retire, I'll be able to sell that number as a business model. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty neat actually. So yeah. So some people have both my numbers. Some people still um, 
I guess haven't realized that it's not a scam. My other number, because, you know, all of a sudden you get another message from me that says, Hey, it's me. Yeah. Um, and then people call me and say, Hey, I think somebody's trying to impersonate you. And I'm like, no, it's me. I, I, yeah. I got a business number because I want my mobile to become personal and my business number to become business. And so I'm giving myself probably this year to, to probably utilize it. I've changed most of my, um, uh, online exposure to my business number. So then at least I know, even though it's forwarded to my cell phone, at least I know where the business is coming from, then it's actually yeah. a business call. So that was uh, another plus with CNS. So I'm trying to work smarter, not harder. For sure. Um, and, and I think I was effective at doing that. I don't, you know, the pace that we were at last year was probably a little, uh, well, actually the last two years was a little crazy. Um, but I still had enough of a personal life and I still did enough of traveling. I still played enough golf. For sure. So, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, that's great. Just a little bit about us, who we are and what we do. Uh, we're a full service real estate specialized marketing agency. So doing everything for our realtors and teams, uh, from A to Z. Now we're based out of Canada, as you know, and assuming as you obviously took this call, we're in Ontario, Sault Ste. Marie and Windsor. Yeah. So our number one priority is bringing all of our realtors and teams results. It's quite literally the sole purpose of our service and what it is that we do. Now with strictly working in real estate, we know that time is money, especially for someone like yourself. You sound like you're uh, extremely busy and you don't want to be, you know, cold calling leads and, and doing all the traditional methods and stuff like that. So we're not going to burden you with constantly being in your inbox, asking for creatives, asking for you to film this video, take these pictures. The reason you're outsourcing it and the reason you're on this call in the first place is to uh, either a take this off your hands or you're trying to see, you know, what it is that we can do for you. The last thing you want is for us to burden you essentially with, with more work. So the way we mm -hmm. operate is we want you to log into our system for 10 to 15 minutes in the morning, have your coffee, uh, see what's going on, check out the automated conversations, new leads that have entered your pipeline. If there's any hot leads that, you know, are looking to buy and sell within the next month or, or two months, whatever it may be. Uh, that's how we like to operate. We want you to just focus on what you're currently doing, what you do best being a realtor and giving the clients that you have the best possible service they can get. Now, we're not the biggest real estate specialized marketing agency in the world. We're not working with 100 realtors in the Calgary area. We're actually doing some outreach in Calgary to actively look and work with one more team. Uh, our whole thing is we want you to essentially be the only person in Calgary. We want to not have to split up leads, not, you know, pass five leads off to Johnny, uh, five off to Bob, five are going to you and you guys are all battling, calling the exact same people. It just doesn't make any sense to us with operating online. It's great because we can work throughout the entire world. So it doesn't make any sense to take on 50 realtors in Calgary. I might as well just do outreach in another area until obviously all of Canada is uh, essentially conquered. But in order for this to be successful, obviously communication is key. I'm not going to be able to see you in person or in office every single day. And if I was paying someone money via online, I'm definitely going to want to know what they're doing with my money when I can't see them in person. So for those reasons, we send out weekly ad reports. We have weekly calls going over the ad reports, what our plan is, how the campaigns are running, the results it's getting, what we're planning on doing next week, just essentially so we never leave you in the dark. And then for us and from our client's perspective, communication is key. Just letting us know if you've called some leads, how the calls have went, if you've gotten booked appointments, how those appointments went, just so we can implement things in the back end to simply get better and better results, which is So now just to go over our creatives, the ad examples and our thought process behind developing this stuff, obviously, this is a very, very crucial part of marketing and advertising. You need to get people to actually click on your ads in order for it to be successful. Now, I just like to showcase this because people think for some reason that these need to be some sort of uh, Super Bowl commercial quality ads and we got to spend thousands of dollars, you know, developing this stuff. We've ran hundreds of different ads. And what we've realized is that people like simplicity, um, as long as there's a good call to action, to be honest, whatever works and whatever's getting a good click through rate and getting results is what we'll run. We don't really care if it takes us 20 minutes to develop or eight hours to develop. So that advertisement that you see in the top right, that home collage 
uh, just pictures of homes in the St. Catharines area, the picture of the team, their logo and their information. That general advertisement idea has been one of our top performing ads across the board for all clients over the last month and a half. Now, what I mean by that is it's brought in thousands of landing page clicks. It's brought in the lowest average cost per click of 50 cents. It's brought in hundreds of leads with the lowest average cost per lead of $3 and 50 cents, tens of deals closed and the best click through rate. So a simple ad like that maybe takes us 25 minutes to develop and has gotten the best results. So we're always chasing the next best ad. Now, this is strictly on Instagram and Facebook. What we've done and something that we've realized, uh, we've done a lot of ad library and market research in the Calgary area as we're actively looking to work with one more team or agent here, but in all cities in general, is that there's not a lot of people leveraging user-generated content, video ads, uh, commercial style video ads, and running this as a in-stream skippable YouTube ad like we do. So the reason this works so well is because from a personal brand perspective, if we had absolutely no idea what we were doing, this video is still going to get thousands of impressions regardless. And mm -hmm. we've seen it happen time and time again, where people will just recognize <clears throat> you for the commercial and want to work with you just from that. But since we do know what we're doing from a business perspective, it brings in a lot of new clientele. People love the videos and you'll get, you know, new leads from that. Now, this video can vary depending on if we're coming and filming it. Uh, some people will just film it themselves. We'll do the editing if it's like user generated content style. But I'll show you uh, two examples of this video and what it could potentially look like. So I thought for one second, who is yeah. that city? Oh, okay, just uh, one second, because what I didn't talk to you about is I have a leak in my house. Yeah, no um, Sydney, 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 can you go? In the garage, there was one of those boxes from the last, Oliver, can you go and grab that box and take the things that are on the shelf and put it in that box? It's all, it's sitting right beside the pop tans. Because John's taking that wall unit out and I need to take everything that's off that shelf off. The box is in the garage beside the pop tans. I hope it is. If it's not, empty it, and you should be able to fit what you need in that box off that uh, shelf. Sorry. Yeah, no worries. So, uh, yeah, here's just an example of a commercial we filmed. Obviously, all the ideas vary depending on the team, the agent, what it is that we're looking to do, if we're filming it, if we're not filming it, uh, if it's just them filming it. So I'll show you two quick videos and what these look like. No, my agents are on their way. No matter who you are or where you are, we are your real estate experts. <laughs> hey, how are you? As if you'd be able to afford that house. <laughs> Just saying. What? As if he, is that you in that video? Yeah, exactly. That's the whole point. Like, it's uh, you can afford that house. Well, that's the whole point. It's no matter who you are or where you are, yeah, we are your real estate experts and we're going to help Holy. you. So it's a young kid looking at a luxury Holy. property. <laughs> now it's my insurance guy calling and I'm going to have to call him back. No worries. Um, hey. This is another user generated content style where uh, it's an audience interaction video and we'd get him to film it and handle the editing. Attention Sarnia, with the high rate of interest, should we buy a house in these conditions? Based on the income that we have, what would the monthly mortgage payments be? What are the closing costs? And what are some good areas to invest in? How many times is the interest rate going to go up within the next six months to a year? To answer all your questions, click learn more and let's chat. So simple videos like that perform very, very well. And there's not a lot of people running video ads for whatever reason, whether it's they don't want to get in front of a camera or they don't have the proper ear, they don't know how to edit. You know, it's, it's funny, I did To, um, a lot of videos, probably I'm going to say, uh, 2020. Okay. Okay. I didn't do them as an ad. Just but organically I, posting. Yeah. I, I have an app called teleprompter. Um, I had a script. Mm -hmm. I kept it within 30 seconds. Um, which I now think is even too long. 
and I videotaped it and then I posted it on my social media and nothing really converted. Obviously the two that you had there are a little bit more potentially of a call to action. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess one of my questions that I have, would have within watching those <clears throat> is the second one. <clears throat> if I had the script, I could videotape myself and send it to you. Yeah. The first one, um, I would obviously, uh, you know, need to tweak that. Like if, because I, are you saying that both Emmanuel and Basma did that? Or are you saying you made um, uh, a video for them? No, both uh, Emmanuel and uh, Basma did create one of the commercial style videos. Emmanuel is on a different package where he didn't do uh, any of the video and YouTube advertising. So we have a variety of different packages depending on what the agent wants to do, uh, their mm-hmm. budget, what it is that, you know, essentially they're looking <laughs> to do. So it all depends. Like for a commercial style video like that, my team and I uh, fly down to where the realtor is located. We stay, meet them. Uh, we do all the producing, f- filming, scripting, creative editing behind the video. Uh, yep. So that's obviously a steeper package. And then, you know, doing other stuff, if you're just going to film it yourself, we're going to handle the editing is a totally separate package. Doing no video ads is another different package. So it kind of depends on, you know, what it is that you're looking to do and, and stuff like that. Because it wouldn't make sense um, if there was somebody here who could videotape me that I would save you the trip and the cost incurred in that. And you would send me the scripts and I would only, the only reason I mentioned that is because my mortgage broker is in the midst of making several videos that she's going to put on um, the social media side of things. I'm still a little bit skeptical on, I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I know you have to spend money. My reluctance has always been the conversion. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I'm, I'm really the kind of person that if I say I'm going to do something, I do it. Um, I know the value added props that I bring to the equation, which is why I'm sort of blessed or knock on wood because I've been self-employed my whole life. Yeah. Um, I, our whole mar- both my husband and I are, are self-employed. We haven't had a paycheck unless we created one and we're married almost 28 years. Um, we're both successful because we live on fear. <laughs> yeah. Right. <clears throat> so fear, when you're fear driven, you just do what you got to do. The only part of my business that I haven't seen success, although I won't say for sure that I've done anything on, on social media other than the generic posts. And it's easy enough if the generic posts were going to be added into my links um, where I could go to where the generic posts are and that, because the home value adds so on, but they're not videos mm. and I could remove them for that. My assistant could remove them for that month and I could plug in live videos like this because they're a little bit more call to action. So that part of it I see as an appeal because um, <clears throat> I just know like, I, like I have a, a file here <laughs> <laughs> from the company that I said, okay, I'll buy 20 leads from you. Yeah. And I had like uh, somebody stole somebody's phone number. Um, yeah, and they were all people who said they were going to talk. And and my like understanding Alberta and understanding Calgary and understanding the quadrants in the city are probably the biggest challenge. And I'm, it makes me wonder if the guy from Edmonton, because mm. I'm pretty sure he's from Edmonton, um, couldn't maybe he didn't call me back because he either couldn't do what I wanted of him or not because as we know Canada is cultural but in Calgary the I'm going to say there's a culture like the um, East Indians Mm -hmm. or the I don't know if if you call I don't know if they're considered Asians because I've done business with Asians and I've done business with some East Indians, but I'm going to say that European, um, Brazilian, uh, Portuguese, all those guys, super, super successful with. Mm-hmm. Um, that other part of the equation, there's there's so many more agents now that are in that category from um, uh, a background Yeah, that I don't speak Hindu. I don't speak um, some of these languages 
that are out there. I'm not saying I don't get that business, but I don't chase that business because sure. what I've experienced is if I went to that part of the city, which I'm almost, I can't say in the last two years I've gone mm -hmm. other than somebody who kept in touch with me and wanted me to sell their house. I, I just don't go there because yeah. I don't attract. They, they like, it sounds really, I'm, I'm white. Well, yeah, and, no, it, I mean, it makes sense. Like, uh, obviously like if someone can speak, uh, Hindi and whatnot, and they're of that culture, it just makes sense that most right. likely they're, they're going to be more drawn to work with that realtor opposed to yeah, the other and, person. And I'm, I'm I mean, that, that just good. all makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty good Carter in about 30 seconds finding a capture mm -hmm. um, without ever meeting you by just something telling me to ask a certain question. Yeah. So I'm able to tie you in very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do notice that that quadrant of the city is, is, and that's the thing with Legion is um, how do you guys target which area? Because the other challenge that we have is we have some uh, pretty big name established realtors here that are spending a lot of money on marketing mm -hmm. and they're sending magazines out every month. I'm going to say there's at least four or five in the quadrant of the city that I live in. And like, and, and then there's a, a slew of them uh, marketing to them. And I've never even marketed in my own community. And I've lived here for 15 years because I know I'm up against some big, big um, uh, like shoes. And I know that if I go up against them, I have a really good chance of beating them, but the opportunities don't present themselves. So it's kind of like bizarre. And people say to me, well, what do you want your price point to be? Well, I live in a community that's anywhere, I'd say in, in the three kilometer radius, I would say 500 to probably, I'm going to say mostly an average of maybe $2 million. Yeah. And the number doesn't scare me. Um, I just find that that I get more business in that 500 to a million dollar category. So those are a couple of things that, you know, I guess I'm kind of curious how you guys, when you're generating your leads, are you doing those sort of targets? Yeah, for sure. So I'll answer those very quick and then I'll get into this stuff. Um, so for the targeting, that's very simple. If you're working with a good agency, you can just do detailed targeting and target certain neighborhoods within a mile radius. So I could quite literally target like an exact neighborhood if you wanted me to with a YouTube skippable ad. With Instagram and Facebook, it's a little bit more dicey because uh, they recently did some updates where you can only go within like a 50 mile radius, but uh, all that stuff can be removed and you can have certain filters to get rid of people if they have a certain budget, get rid of them if they're in a certain neighborhood. All that can be done through like a survey, through automation and stuff like that. So that's sort of how you battle uh, all those, I guess, barriers of, you know, the targeting, if they're in, within a certain budget, stuff like that, you can just have it all fully automated surveys, detailed targeting on, on YouTube is quite literally insane. So with that advertising, it's, it's pretty easy on that platform, but to actually go over our three-step process and precisely exactly what it is that we're, we're looking to do and what we do. On Instagram and Facebook, the first step is we develop all these new creatives, uh, we build up the campaigns, and we let these campaigns run for a two week period. Essentially, what we're doing here is they're going through what's called the learning phase. The Facebook algorithm is actually tracking and seeing who's performing a click on your ad, and then placing that ad in front of more unique users like that person. So we're just seeing what's getting results and what's not and then doing a lot of split testing. That's on Facebook and Instagram. Okay. On YouTube and Google, we've shot these video ads, the commercial, everyone's happy with them, they're edited, they're revised. And we're running this as an in-stream YouTube skippable ad. Now, like I said, the reason this works so well is because the targeting that we're capable of doing on YouTube is quite literally insane. We can actively target people that are on Google searching on realtor.ca, uh, agents to work with near me, top teams to work with near me, looking for a realtor, uh, selling my home, top realtors in the area, everyone who's actively searching in the real estate market and then goes on YouTube to watch their favorite cooking show or HGTV clips. Those are the people that will be hit with your YouTube skippable ad. So this ad isn't being placed on a seven year old who uh, stole the family iPad to watch Mr. Beast. It's actually hitting a good high quality target audience, which is why the quality of the leads is that much better and why usually it results into deals with getting less amount of leads. Now, the whole goal of what we're doing across all four platforms is we're funneling all the traffic we get from these ads 
to a landing page that we develop for our clients. Now, the reason we use a landing page and not a website is because when people go on a website, they have the option to drift off and sort of do whatever they want, essentially get lost. They can go look at the homepage, look at the about me page, look at listings, et cetera, et cetera. With this soft subscription landing page that we build, there's a clear, concise call to action right above a survey that people will fill out where we get more information from them to essentially qualify themselves. So if someone's taking the time out of their day to fill out a form on Facebook, get redirected to a landing page, and then fill out a survey and answer a variety of different questions, 95% of the time, they're actually a good quality lead. And they're genuinely interested because they're taking this much time out of their day to go through this entire process. So we ask a variety of different questions like, are you looking to buy and sell? What are your desired neighborhoods? What's your budget? Um, you know, just the typical questions like that. Are you currently working with a, a realtor? Are you pre-approved stuff like along those lines? If they don't fill out the survey, that's fine. We already got their information so we can work them through our automations and push them to fill out the survey. They can scroll down the landing page, see more information about you, why to work with you as a realtor, past testimonials, happy clients, and just overall incentivizing these people to work with you. Now, the second step is we've placed a pixel and a tracking code on this landing page. So let's say after a month of advertising, we get a thousand landing page views. Well, anyone who's viewing this landing page is viewing it for a reason. They've came from some advertisement that we're running for you. So whether they showed interest in you, your video, um, your brand, real estate, they clicked the ad and got to that landing page for a reason. So we put all of these users in a custom warm audience because they've now shown some level of interest. We redevelop new advertisements on Facebook and Instagram, and we retarget that audience with new creatives to work them that much more to potentially turn them into a new client. So for example, quite literally every big brand is doing this. If you've ever searched for, let's say a cruise, and then you're on Expedia, you're searching for a cruise, all of a sudden you go on Facebook and Instagram, you start getting hit with flight deals and all these different vacations and whatnot. Amazon does this, big brands, just because yeah. they know that you've now shown interest in their product, they're gonna work you through different retargeting campaigns to just essentially show you new products, different sales, until you turn into essentially a new customer. So that's what we wanna do for our realtors and our teams just on a smaller scale. Now, the third step is, let's say someone fills out a form or they fill out this survey, they click submit, all of their information gets automatically sent into our CRM. We'll automatically send these people a greeting message just so you look professional. We get in touch with them right away. Let them know that you'll be in touch with them soon. You'll receive an internal notification, a text message saying, hello, a hot leads just entered go high level, log in, go check it out, give them a call, see the conversation, what they're looking for and stuff like that. So now I'm going to So finally, uh, we do social media management and essentially we're huge, huge advocates of building a social brand and growing organically just by posting short form video content. Um, we have a real estate specialized social media manager who will manage your pages and make sure everything's optimized. Now, my whole thing is, is that if I'm a first time home buyer and I'm looking to buy a home, my generation is going to go on Instagram to essentially look for a realtor. That's what I would be doing. So. If I went on Instagram and I saw that, you know, Johnny real estate has 20 just listed post pictures or 50 just listed pictures, odds are he's a great agent. And he's doing great business. If I go to your account and I see that you have content explaining to me and displaying your knowledge about the market, uh, I see Instagram stories of what you're doing on the weekend, your hobbies. Um, you're talking about other things like tips on buying your first home. It's statistically proven that 83% of people are going to choose a realtor with short form video content strictly because You've now built up that like known trust factor with me. I feel like I know you, I trust you. I've watched your videos a bunch. You've displayed your knowledge through the content. So now I'm going to pick you instead of the other guy, even though he could be 20 times better, you could be the same. It's irrelevant now because your content was that much better and I'm just going to choose you. So we're going to basically come up with content ideas for you, get on biweekly calls. You don't have to be a professional. We'll provide you with video hooks. You'll film the videos send over the raw footage to us. You'll have a short form video editor working with you to edit out the villa, edit out the filler words, cut out the dead space, add the bubble captions, the visuals, fast cuts in and out to keep that retention rate and essentially uh, make you look professional. So I'll just to show you an example of these videos, all editing styles are unique to, you know, what the agent is looking for. 
Uh, but essentially, this would be an example. No, Bess, do you have jobs around your house that got 90% done, but that final 10% of the rental just never made it? Well, you're like most other listings or homes that I go through. But if you are thinking of selling your house and you want to stand out, spend a weekend and do the following. Buy a box of cock, a box. It sounds funny, but they're four bucks a tube and go around your house and cock all the trim and all the poor cut jobs. There's nothing like huge gaps in trim and missing transition pieces to make a buyer think, what else did they cut corners off? Second is make sure there's no electrical boxes missing covers or change the covers to be all the same color. If it's black, make it black. If it's cream, change it to white, but do the consistent color across and make sure the covers are on because buyers think when their cover is missing, oh, they have issues there. What are they fixing? What's wrong with the wiring? These little things, among others, will help you stand out and help your home sell quicker. Hit me up if you got any questions and good luck. Hey, you. So short form videos like that work really well and obviously you can build an audience. There's a huge persona that in marketing and advertising you need to spend, you know, three hundred, six hundred, a thousand dollars to actually advertise and build a pipeline. Let's just say you're producing short form content and organic content and you're doing it correctly. You have good hooks. It's professional. It's representing your brand right. It's edited well, shot well. Well, if you're consistently posting four videos a week over the period of, of a month, you might just organically get 20 to 25,000 impressions on your reels, which is what you would get if you paid $350, $400 on advertising. So you can do the same thing just when it's actually done right. You could potentially, you know, get the same outcome. So I'll go over our packages now and obviously the main part. So we operate on a three month contract. The reason being for this is this is not a get rich quick scheme. We're not going to do anything for three weeks and get you 10,000 followers or uh, bring you, you know, five people who are looking to buy multi million dollar homes. That's just not how this works. We want to work with people and actually genuinely build a long term relationship with them and show them that what we do does work. And we need enough time to essentially split test and prove that to you. Um, so that's why we operate on a three month contract. Now the first package is the basic package. It's $500 a month. Um, that's taxes in that's what versatile agency would invoice for on top of that. There's a $300 ad spend, which is what you would pay meta Facebook and Instagram. So like I said earlier, a minimum of a $10 a day ad spend. Now this is also a variable cost. And what I mean by that is depending on whether or not we're consistently running ads throughout the entire month, 24 seven. There might be a couple of days where we pause the campaign to create a new ad. We might change something on the landing page. So this could be 150 bucks. It could be 200, it could be $220, but the maximum it could be is that $300 threshold. That's what I like to display, but it could be less or it could be 300. Now with this package, you're getting Instagram and Facebook ads, the landing page development, weekly ad reports, biweekly creatives, biweekly meetings. So the whole strategy I just talked about just strictly on Instagram and Facebook. Now, you also get appointments guaranteed and I know a lot of agencies, you've worked with a lot of people, they have their guarantees, but I'm going to explain ours and essentially what we mean by it. I like to put myself in the position of a, of a potential client and essentially put myself in your shoes. And if I was being pitched this service and these packages, what I'm personally going to look at is okay. What's the worst possible case scenario that can happen from doing this. And besides us taking your money and ghosting you, I think the, the second worst thing would be not getting a return on investment or not getting the potential to get a return on investment. So if you were to come to me at the end of this three month contract and you said, Hey, listen, Carter, uh, I got leads, the, I, you know, there I got some appointments, the quality wasn't there, the people didn't show up or I didn't get any booked appointments. I genuinely did everything I could. I made some calls, no one answered. And I really didn't think I got a whole lot from this besides the personal brand development. What I'll say to you is okay, moving forward, what are you paying my team and I? Scratch the monthly payment. We're going to work for free. We're going to continue to work for free, reevaluate, come up with a new strategy. What wasn't working? Why wasn't it working? Why aren't people booking appointments? Why aren't they answering? Why didn't you get a return on investment? And we're going to work for free until we can get you that return on investment to actually stand behind our word of genuinely working with every client we take on long term, not leaving a sour taste in anyone's mouth. Uh, we're determined, very young, motivated team. We know that what we do does work and can work for everyone. Uh, so we want to actually showcase that and prove that through the guarantee that we have. So the next package is a silver package. It's thirteen ninety seven a month taxes in. That's a versatile agency invoices for. On top of that, there's a six hundred dollar ad spend. So now we're not only running Instagram and Facebook ads, we're also running YouTube and Google ads. 
bi-weekly creatives, bi-weekly meetings, weekly ad reports, the commercial and video ads backend development. So the creative scripting and editing, uh, the landing page development and appointments guaranteed once again. And then we have the gold package, which is $2,500 a month taxes in, uh, on top of that, there's a $900 ad spend. So Did we're running into Facebook ads. We're doing the mortgage strategy, YouTube and Google ads, bi-weekly creatives, bi-weekly meetings, weekly ad reports, the commercial and video ads, full developments. So my team and I come down, film the commercial landing page development, the personal social media manager to manage your socials and post on there, email marketing and appointments guaranteed once again. You got a spelling error there, just so you know. Yeah, one second. Email is spelled wrong. Oh yeah, I see that. Thank you very much. <laughs> And then uh, we have the content machine package. So it's all about organic posting. And like what I went over, there's no ad fee in this. It's 497 a month taxes in that's what versatile agency invoices for. We're going to manage your Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. We're going to come up with four videos a week. So basically we'll get on biweekly calls. We'll have hook ideas ready for you to film and ready for you to talk about. Essentially, we don't want to uh, make you film for an hour. We want to make it as fast and efficient for you as possible. So you'll film these videos, send us over the raw footage. You'll have a short form video editor working for you as well to, like I said, cut out those filler words, the dead space, add the bubble captions and the visuals. You'll have weekly reports going over the statistics of your accounts. So, so this only because my person is here already at my front door. Yeah. Um, we might have to circle back and finish this. Um, yeah, no worries. uh, he, he's, he, I don't know how long he's going to be. Do you like, I have to leave for my appointment at three 30. Um, what's the time left on this one? Who do you have after me? Uh, I have another call actually like right now. I was just kind of pushing it back a bit. <laughs> okay. Um, I need to finish with you. But I can't finish with you this very second because yeah. they've shown up and they are right on time. Yeah, no so um, what was I going to say? Uh, what? Oof. If you want at uh, five o'clock Eastern time, would that be good? That'll be. Uh, that's, what, that's three o'clock my time, right? Yeah. I'll have about. So that's about 45 minutes from now. Yep. Yeah. If you want to. Um, I don't know I, what you think. Yeah, I, I could do that. And as long as I'm done by three. Yeah, days. I only have uh, the one more package to go through here, basically. Yeah, I, I want to finish because yep. uh, I do have more questions. For sure. So go to your next call and then send me, if it's the same link, I'll, I've left the email open. I'll okay. just uh, get back on the thing in like for three o'clock, which is in 40 minutes. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, I'll be okay. on here at five and you can join through the same link. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Sounds okay. good. See you then. Okay. We're back. Okay. There you go. Awesome. So I'll uh, just explain this package again. So uh, the content machine package is 497 a month taxes and there's no advertising on top of it because it's all about posting and building your brand organically. So you're going to have a real estate specialized social media manager work with you one on one, you're gonna have a short form video editor working for you one on one uh, for 497 a month, we're going to manage your Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. you're going to produce four videos a week. Um, we're going to get on bi weekly calls with us to go over the hook video ideas, how everything's been performing. Uh, things you maybe want to change under niche, maybe you want to target. I uh, will also send out weekly reports going over the statistics of your accounts. So followers gained, accounts reached, um, page engagement, stuff like that. So and then with this particular, me. sorry, go ahead. Yeah. And then uh, with this particular package, it's satisfaction guarantee. So after the first month, if you don't like working with us as a team, you don't see the potential long term return on investment from doing this. This is a marathon and not a sprint, especially with posting content. Uh, we'll yeah. give you a full refund of 497. So it'll quite literally cost you nothing uh, besides your time. So we want to make sure that everyone's happy with what it is that, that we're doing essentially. Okay. So question for you. Yeah. Um, just if I was to look at this specifically, um, what percentage of the realtors that you have on board only do the content machine? Uh, about... 30%, I'd say. 
only do this and of those 30 percent what's their what's their takeaway on this yeah so it's 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 a slow growth a lot of people that have been doing it the 30 percent we've been working with for uh, a long time they've gained followers what i like to tell people is it's not about getting tens of thousands of followers or millions of followers you're trying to get a solid audience of you know if a thousand people are talking about you and saying oh i love your content within the community and within the area that's a lot better than having 50,000 uh, useless accounts. So mm -hmm. they've gotten a lot of inbound leads just from simply posting good quality content that's providing value to uh, their target audience, displaying their knowledge. So they've definitely gotten leads from it. It's not something that I track very often because I mean, they'll send me a message and say, hey, someone DM'd us and said, love the content. Uh, can you, you know, book an appointment? I'd like, I'm looking to buy a home. That's definitely happened, but it's not something I track. I'm just more focused on making sure the content is good. The editing is good. The hook ideas are good. They're providing value to all their followers. And as long as that, you know, the growth curve is always increasing, then that's what I'm mainly looking at, but it's been successful. And who's, who's creating the content? So we'd come up with the video ideas and the hooks that you're going to film. So we want to make your life as easy as possible. So you're going to sit down, film your content for whether it's 30 minutes, 45 minutes, send us over the raw footage, and then we're just handling everything else from there. And how did you determine four videos a week? So number based, based off split testing four is just usually the best. Um, anything under that really just, I mean, obviously you're going to say three or four could be relatively the same. We just came up with four, but if you're doing yeah. two or one, it's, it's just not enough. You want to be in front of people a good amount. You want them to see your videos. You want to constantly be top of mind. You want them to recognize that your videos are professional. They look good. The value providing is good. So we found four is kind of the, the perfect number for that, especially starting out and getting used to, you know, filming and talking to the camera for maybe like an hour a week and slowly that'll be reduced. Mm -hmm. um, and okay. I'm just thinking, okay, go. Yeah, no worries. And then uh, finally, the last package is listing marketing. So uh, we do a lot of this for our realtors, just basically when you get a listing, we'll market it and make it sell a lot quicker. It's great because you can actually leverage this and say, you know, I have a professional marketing team. I spend my own marketing dollars to market my clients listings to ensure that your home sells quicker. So it's worked great from that aspect as well. People have gotten clients just because they have that leverage point and they can use that above other realtors that are also, you know, cold calling these people, door knocking potential prospects. Um, then obviously what we're doing works really well. We do it from a perspective of trying to sell the home quicker for you. You can leverage it to your clients and for your business. And then we also bring in new buyer leads from this because what people don't understand is that we're showcasing a product being the house. People are interested in that product. So they opt in and then whether or not they're actually interested in that, that home, we now have their contact information. So we can say, Hey, you're not interested in this home, but, uh, would you like me to send you a custom list? Like, what are you looking for? Is there a different neighborhood, something along those lines? So it's also bringing in new leads for you. It's helping sell the properties you have quicker and it's something you can leverage within your own business. So this is $350 a month taxes in, uh, this is a month to month, month to month basis. So there's no three month contract. You can opt out whenever, as long as it's a week before, um, there's $150 ad spend. So it's $5 a day. You can obviously increase that if it's a bigger home, whatever you want to do. We run Instagram and Facebook ads. We have biweekly calls, weekly ad reports, and then satisfaction guarantee. Once again, if after the first month you don't like it, you don't have to pay. And then we simply, uh, part ways. Yeah. And, um, my question to you is, um, uh, what if you have five listings? Then you run five different campaigns. And if you want to run a $5 a day budget or $2 a day budget on all of them, you can, we create okay. a bunch of different pipelines and you'd have leads funneling in for, for all different listings. So it would just all depend on what you want to spend. If you have a listing that's like 300,000 and then the other two are, you know, 800 and 900, you want to advertise those, then mm -hmm. we would do that. Okay. Um, so go back to the packages for me for a yep. second. Like you look like you're old enough to just be out of high school. <laughs> yeah. Italian, well, you're Italian. I'm guessing. Yeah. I'm Italian with the Vincent. Yeah. Team. And, uh, I'm 20. So uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah relatively. You're, barely, you're barely shaving. Uh, relatively young yeah exactly uh i'm european as well but um, my background is croatian and slovenian so oh, okay i'm sure you know uh some croatians 
Oh yeah. There's uh there's a couple here. A couple of my friends are creation. Yeah. Okay. So go up, um, backwards here a little bit. So go down to the yellow one. The yellow no. one. Yeah. I guess up for you down. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, to me, this, this budget seems more like a team budget. Yeah. Okay. So scrap that one. Cause I wouldn't be doing that unless I had a team. So scrap the gold go to the silver just out of curiosity um and this also seems like it's team driven like what's the difference between this one and the bronze yeah so the difference is now we're implementing video ads and we're advertising on uh youtube as well so we're running the in-stream skippable ads uh, that's the main so difference is so that is that to do with the content um at, are, are you tying this into just that content section no, so this would be like those commercial videos that I showed you that oh. would be for that. And then we're also going to manage and set up a whole nother account on YouTube and Google ads manager. And we're going to start running and managing like the in-stream skippable YouTube ads track and all that and running that on, on those platforms. That's just the main difference between these. Yeah. And for me, like, I, I just don't want to be that busy mm -hmm. and spend $600, but I like the, the YouTube Google, Google thing. Um, and so what's the, what's the bronze? Where, where does that? So the basic yeah. is uh, $500 a month taxes in with a $300 ad spend. And we're doing this whole strategy. I talked about just strictly on Instagram and Facebook. So the landing page development, weekly ad reports, biweekly creatives, biweekly meetings, and uh, the guarantee with all the packages. So just out of curiosity, is it possible for you to tie in this with a portion of the silver without going to the ad spend of 600 bucks? Because I'm not being as a sole proprietor because yeah. I've got my hand in a lot of fish bowls. I don't want to. I don't want to put. Um, I don't want to spend six hundred dollars a month yeah. on advertising. Sure. Um, but I do like the YouTube Google thing um, mm. because I think the video content that I did two years ago um, that's hard to do. Mm -hmm. on a regular basis unless somebody is pushing you to do it does that make sense right like the the commercials like tell me a bit more about the youtube and the google ads yeah so what for the youtube and google ads it's not that we're creating a bunch of content for you like we're not gonna we're not getting you to create a whole bunch of different videos it just means that we're gonna create some video ads so we might get you to film you know two different videos and we'll use that for the next month and a half if it's performing well as an advertisement so it's not like we're gonna be posting a lot of content for you. It's just the fact that we're advertising on those platforms. So mm -hmm. what I would do is that if you wanted to leverage the video ads, cause no one is doing that, I can quite literally pull up the ad library for, if you want, you can look at it yourself. Um, but what I could do is we can run the video ads. Um, we'll do sort of a commercial style video. We can advertise on YouTube with maintaining the $300 ad spend. I'd run a $5 a day campaign on Instagram and Facebook and a $5 a day campaign on uh, YouTube and Google, which would be 150 a month on both platforms and then and, for the and, management has anybody feed, done that what was that has anybody done that yeah i mean we do it a lot if we're going to split test campaigns like for instance if i was doing this basic package and i wanted to run two different campaigns just to split test them we'll do it both at uh five dollars a day so it's not like it's the worst budget in the world i mean you'll see the results that you're getting for it and if you know it's getting a positive return on investment you can always just increase it and kind of go from there it's is usually how it works okay so let me ask you another crazy question so, and, but I don't know if anybody's asked you this, but I always ask lots of questions. Um, does anybody, so if you need this to be three months, okay? Yeah. Right. And then that content um, uh, campaign is 500 bucks a month. The what, right? sorry? The content one, the 497. Oh, the content machine, yeah. Yeah. So have, has anybody ever said to you this? Um, I, I'll do this for one month. And then I'll do the content machine for one month. Then I'll do this for one month. Then I'll do the content machine. And then I'll do this for one month. And then I'll do the content machine. Meaning, so every other month, I don't actually go in there and do a $300 ad spend with $500. I just spend my $500 on content uh, creating videos so that I get an idea of how each of them can give me a return without feeling like I'm getting 170 leads in my inbox uh, every month. 
I mean, yeah, I've never been pitched that, but it, it doesn't seem like a horrible idea. And it's not that it's not any more effort for us. So if it's something that you wanted to do, I could definitely um, 100% do that. Um, Cause I, I guess I'd be curious to what your video content library looks like before I make that commitment. Cause I don't, I, the, where I'm at in my journey is um, I classify myself to be successful. I don't know what, what the, um, um, she's every time I call her, she's on the other line. Um, like, you know, I don't, you know, these realtors that you're working with just out of curiosity, has anybody disclosed what their income is per year? Oh yeah. A lot of them have, I wouldn't even remember. <laughs> CMHC. Um, those are, I'm, I'm thinking of person, is, is that a personal mortgage insurance? Is that what PMI is? Honestly, what, is PMI, what, what does PMI stand for? Uh, it stands for private mortgage insurance. Yeah. Yeah. We only have uh, two in Alberta. So um, I don't know if it's a little different than than in the East Coast. Mm. Um, so I guess what I part of how I do my due diligence is um, is there any kind of references you guys can provide that I can reach out to and have a conversation with? Yeah, yeah, I can definitely uh, contact some of the realtors and whoever responds, I'll just send you over their contact via email and you can give them a call and chat and talk okay. to them for sure. Um, the other thing is if, if, um, do you guys do any, like the separate to what your prices are, is there any other incentive that would make me say okay, yes sooner? Uh, honestly, the, the only thing would be me agreeing to what it is that you said, if you wanted to do the month on month off with the yeah. content yeah. machine, the basic package, we'd be willing to to do that. Other than that, no, we're only looking to work with another realtor team in the area. So okay. we're going to hold off with meetings regardless until we hear back from you. So okay. I'll reach out. And, to then the we, and now the other thing is, okay, we're on the 5th of January. You said it takes about two to three weeks to get it going. I'm stepping out of the city um, for yet another uh, vacation spread, which was planned in September for almost two weeks. Um, so I wouldn't want, if I was to go forward, I wouldn't want the campaign to actually start until I get back, mm -hmm. which would be right around Valentine's day. Okay. Um, and, and I'm gone from January 31st. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, so that would be the other thing. Uh, I would want to see what some of this video content looks like. And while I'm on that subject, is there do you is the video content all real estate driven or let's just say i knew somebody who was a mortgage broker mm -hmm. who i work with closely and obviously these leads come might come attached to a mortgage broker and i want to ask you that question as well and they wanted to just do video content like not any kind of leads because i don't know if you guys focus on mortgage brokers at all or if you are only real estate driven no, so for the short form video content, we actually just work with all businesses in general because it's all uh, relatively the same, just comes down to studying the hooks, studying like the niche that they're in for the content, having good editing, being professional with it. So for the short form video content, we work with with all niches. We, we work with gyms and, and stuff like that. So it's not just okay. real estate focused for the content. So if, if I was to present this to my mortgage broker and say, hey, um, you could just do video content for four ninety seven a month, where you would get four videos a week. Is it four videos a week? Yeah, yeah. Um, you guys could help her out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If she was interested in that, and if you guys were both willing to do that, and she uh, came on, I would give you a twenty percent off discount per month for doing the short form video content. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so I'm going to chat with her because she did meet with somebody. Um, specifically to that but something tells me that your platform may make more sense for her but i'm not 100 percent sure i'd have to you'd have to go over it with her or with me again she's tried to call me here three times and i got sure. literally five minutes because i got to go yeah no worries so, um i would love to see what some of the content looks like i would love to get some references and then i'd love to give you an answer 
um, by next week. Uh, just to give you my what's going on in my world today. Um, well, New Year's Eve to be exact, but today is when my world as I knew it has uh, shuttered. So we we had a leak last year in our house. Okay. And about three years before that, we had a leak in the same spot in our house. Oh and no. Fashion, literally, the email went out to the insurance company January 3rd of last year. And here I am with the same fucking problem. So, Almost on the exact same. Yeah. Yeah. So um, today has just been a little bit tasking. And while I left you, I actually went and sold my car. Oh, wow. Because my new car came last week. And oh, that's awesome. And I had to make a decision if I was going to give my car back or if I was going to sell it privately. Yeah. And I got pretty much what I said I would be happy with. Yeah. And um, so that's the only good thing that's happened today. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, well, congrats so on the new it, on the new vehicle. Yeah, well, <laughs> so yeah, it's 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 a little bit flustering because you know <laughs> I just don't have money to on. just keep on fucking giving it to the insurance companies, but. Yeah. So yeah, so that's kind of what's on my plate today. And I haven't even, I managed to book one set of photos for somebody. I don't, I don't think I'd be interested in the listing portion of it for sure. Um, because there's enough exposure on the MLS. Like if I had, yeah, I, I just, even with back at you media, I, I just don't know if that, like, I like the, I like the content, the video content for you. Mm -hmm. And I'd be prepared to try a three month trial with you. Mm -hmm. um, I just need to talk to a couple people just to kind of get uh, the gist of where they're at. Sure. And then I'd be prepared to make a commitment to try it. Um, you're probably the most interesting interpretation of what it is that I don't like um, that you're trying to propose. So I would give it one more college try, as they say, For sure. and see if it works. I appreciate um, that. So, but I would like to tie it in where it's not so demanding. I would want to split it up yes. so yes. that I could um, increase to see what happens with my social media. Cause I pay my social media gal. Well, I'm not sure because normally I pay her 450 bucks a month, but no. last month the bill was a little higher. So I don't know if she put in personal time with that, but I didn't give her that much work. So uh, I got to kind of sort that out with her as well, because mm -hmm. I'd be prepared to hold back on some of my content with her. If I'm going to do four videos a week, you, mm -hmm. like I, what I'm trying to do is manage my spend Yeah. with more than one bracket For because sure. I'm, I'm at the stage where I need to work super smart um, and have more of a response to what I'm doing than to not. Because right now I don't like I, I I haven't been successful with lead gen. I mm. just I'm more successful meeting you on Zoom. Yeah. Like even a referral, going through my presentation with an online PowerPoint, creating a connection and closing, I'm gonna say eight and a half out of ten people to hire me at the end of a 40 minute segment yeah, <laughs> than sure. I am with lead gen. So I'm somewhat reluctant, but I would probably give it one more effort for sure um, is what I would, would do. So if you could get that stuff for me, then I could have a look at it and then I could give you, we could circle back next week, maybe Tuesday, because Mondays yep. are always a waste and, um, and kind of go from there. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. Awesome. For sure. I'll send you over an email with the information. I'll contact some realtors that are on like doing the content and doing the advertising and then uh, include their their information in the email. I'll follow up with you on Monday so we can hopefully set up a, a date and time for uh, Tuesday to follow up yeah. on this. And uh, we'll go from there. It was a pleasure speaking with you. I appreciate yeah. you taking some time out of your day. And yeah. we'll be in touch. Sounds awesome. Thanks so much, Carter. Sounds great. Have a great okay. rest of your day. Ciao. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>、Uh, officially, the longest meeting of my entire life. You could technically say that call was 
I mean, you could technically say it was two hours since it was at 3.30 and ended at 5.30. I mean, obviously there was a, a gap in between that, but I'm still pretty sure we are on a call for around an hour and a half. But as you can see there, guys, it pays off to have a very good pitch deck um, to just, you know, be honest, build rapport on the calls. Like, as you can see, a lot of that conversation in that call was just nonsense. And honestly, a lot of them go, don't go like that. But what I mean by nonsense is we were just chatting, talking about, you know, stuff. She was bringing stuff up. I was bringing stuff up. So not all of it was business related, but it's good to build that rapport and that relationship with a potential client. And then as you can see, she even brought up a potential referral, getting her, you know, friend, her mortgage broker to start uh, with us as well, doing the video content. So now I'm going to send her over an email with the packages, um, contact some agents, see if they're interested in and in partaking and in, in being a referral and we will go from there. So I appreciate you guys watching yet again, another video. If you like seeing these live sales calls, I'll post once a week, comment that down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.